So today my dad and I went to um, Oakland, California, which is about an hour away from where I where I live. Um, we went to to visit my aunt and uncle. I haven't been to their house for a couple of years now. This is us getting onto the freeway. My dad is driving. The last time I got on this freeway was about eleven months ago, uh, which is the last time I went to the to the hospital back in October two thousand sixteen. So. So when um while my dad was driving, you know, I was just looking around. As you can see, um by the way this is a voiceover. I was just looking around, you know, no anxiety and then um you can see I was kinda smiley and whatnot because you know I I felt fine, I felt normal. I I had a couple of symptoms but you know, I wasn't dizzy, uh no head pressure, no wasting heart, anything like that. I was just mainly my um my neck was kind of bothering me, so which, is, which I mentioned on why I turn my head too much because like if I if I keep my neck in one position too long, or like you know if I keep still too long, my neck gets stiff and then it hurts, and when it hurts, um, I get dizzy. It's it feels like um like my neck gets so tight that um the muscles are cramping, and if I move or if I don't move, my neck starts to hurt. So that's why you see me like moving too much. I can't just, like just sit still and look one look straight. <clears throat> this is only within a couple of minutes from us leaving. Um, so the drive took about an hour or so, but it didn't feel like an hour to me. Um, which surprised me because right there you see me like touching my throat because I had that um you know that sensation when you feel like you're being choked at your throat it's been it's like someone's either trying to choke you at your throat and it feels like it's closing in on you so that's why I was touching my throat on my neck so this is only within like five minutes away from my house right now um I didn't record the full drive there I just recorded like couple of couple of random um spots here and there so I didn't want to make the video too long. Also um like I mentioned before my uh, my allergies been acting up calm. Last night I, I slept pretty good and but then I had really bad allergies so I was like sneezing, my nose was running, my eyes was irritating, my my throat was dry so it, even though I slept pretty well, um, it took me a couple of hours to fall asleep. But when I woke up, um, my allergies got worse. Um, so I fell back asleep. When I woke up around seven something, then I woke up around nine thirty, and then around ten something, I went to my backyard. Ten ten thirty a.m. I went to my backyard and. You know, just get some sunlight um like I mentioned before I haven't for the first two months of summer I was I was going to my backyard around 10 11 o'clock I would stay outside just to get some sunshine and um then the last month of summer I I didn't really go outside my backyard or my front yard during the morning I would only go out around noon and to evening so I kind of Kind of regret not leaving or not going to my backyard during the morning just to get that, you know, that, that sun shining to my face, my body, just like the, from what it hurts, like anywhere from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. is the best time to, um, to get vitamin from the sun. I'm not too sure it's true, but some of the doctors said those were the best time to get some vitamins from the sun around between 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Um, and not to not to take a shower until like an hour later so I mean last year when um, I didn't really leave my house so I didn't even leave my my bedroom to go to my backyard my skin got really light so right now I'm starting to get my my, my skin is starting to get darker again because I Cause I've been living 
my house, you know. So I'm, yeah. Right now I'm pretty, pretty happy with um my recovery. I mean, I'm still not driving, as you can see. Um, I'm in the passenger seat in the front because it's just my dad and I. But just being able to leave my house. If it's five minutes away, you know, that's that's still five minutes away more than I had for the couple of months, you know, before like I mentioned, I will only go to my to my kitchen to the bathroom. Even going to the kitchen was a nightmare for me before because I would get so so dizzy and stuff. Um then my safe zone became from my entire house to slowly just becoming my bedroom. So when I used to feel panicky just opening my bedroom door to go to the bathroom, I was feeling panicky, so I came a long way from where I was um, last year to, no, to now, so my next step will be to, you know, hopefully I can go the distance, like half an hour, an hour away from my house again, um, like I mentioned, this is going to my aunt's house, is. It's an hour away, and we stay at her house for an hour. And when we came back home, it took a little bit over an hour due to traffic. But my next step would be to go for the, you know the same amount of drive, maybe half an hour car wise. Um, going to more stores, you know, go back to the store that I had my panic attack at, just just to see how I will react if. If I don't get any like flashback memory, bad memories of those places, then I can then I can take the step farther. You know, I'll I'll start going to all the stores that I used to go to, any malls, whatever I used to always go to, and take that step. And then, you know, hopefully I can go into that little to that four hours drive that I was planning on going with my family on a on a little vacation, like. You know, to Lake Tahoe, we you know, just stay there for like a night or two, just, just to see how I'll do. This exit we hit up, we just passed is the um, same exit that where I had my first panic attack. That's why you see me like looking out there. Um, it's not too far from that target parking lot from where I had my panic attack. Um, I was just looking around. Of course, I can't see the star from the freeway, but it's just in that area alone. But I felt pretty good about it. You know, I I had no flashback, no, nothing like that. Um, so yeah, this is about 20 minutes away from home and still feel pretty good. You know, no anxiety, anything like that. Um, my nose is stuffy. From what I notice, when my nose is stuffy and I'm chewing like chewing gum, it helps the stuffy nose. I, I I used to work in this area um a couple of years ago um I think around nineteen ninety nine or two thousand so you see me looking around it brings me back um some some pretty good memories you know when of where I used to work um some of these companies I didn't work there too long but you know sometimes when you're just driving around the freeway that you used to take to work and stuff you know you just you, you just start randomly having like memories of where you used to go I mean I don't really go on this freeway anymore like even when I didn't have anxiety I would only drive on this freeway 
once every few months but you know it it did bring me back some some memories um when I was younger well when I was in my tarnies and stuff so yeah just looking around looking around just like you know my mind was clear I had no just a little anxiety still um this was about 30 minutes away from home or so I and while I was looking around and then I looked at the time I was, I was like wow it did not even feel like 30 minutes it only felt like I was on the freeway for we were on the freeway for like five, ten minutes, but it was half an hour. Um, I didn't have any thoughts about telling my dad, "Let's go back home." No, no, um, no panicky symptoms, you know. No urge to like go back home, turn the car around, let's go home. I don't think I can do it. Um, however. Five or ten minutes before we were gonna leave, I did have that moment of like, what if I was asking myself in my mind, like, what if I felt sick in the car? Um, what if there's traffic and you know, and I felt sick, how am I we gonna get out? Stuff like that. But it only those what if thoughts only lasted for like maybe a minute or less, and then I would know when my mind was like, was telling me, nope. You're not thinking about going home. You're thinking about about going to your your aunt and uncle's house, and then I can slowly feel the panic feeling go away. You know, so my mind is not working against me anymore. It's working with me. So I I didn't feel jumpy. You no, know, like like a couple months ago. Um, actually, last August two thousand sixteen when I went for a car ride with my girlfriend and my daughter in my car as soon as we as soon as we went um two or three blocks away I had that panicky feeling even though I didn't tell them to turn back around hey I start feeling like I had to go back home you know so even though like I mentioned I didn't I didn't tell my girlfriend how you're making you turn to go back but Having that feeling, wanting to go home, even though we didn't go home, still sucks. But right here, I had no, no thoughts of telling my dad, let's go home, none so ever. So, I mean, I was pretty happy, you know, just driving, like, just looking around like everyone else, you know, being able to go in the car and go wherever. And that's how I felt today. This is about 45 minutes into our drive. Um, we have another 20, 25 minutes to go. Still no panicky moments, nothing. Um, just enjoying the ride, you know. As you can see there's really not that much traffic at this time I 
I don't quite remember what time we left, but I think it was like one something maybe p.m. twelve thirty one p.m.
Now we're just about to exit the freeway and we are at our destination. Um, my aunt's house is just a few more minutes away. As you can see, I'm staying at a Target store. Um, when I was staring at the Target store, it almost gave me a flashback of where I had my first panic attack. Which, it's not the same location, but, you know, it's the same store, but I thought I was going to have a flashback, but I had no flashback whatsoever before. If I saw that store logo, it would bring me a flashback, and I would start feeling panicky, but today, and for a few, for a few months now, wherever I had a panic attack, if I go near that area, I, f I feel fine. This is my aunt and uncle's um, house, the view from the backyard. Um, I'm zooming into, I forgot if that's the Bay Bridge or the Golden Gate Bridge. Um, I used to live in San Francisco, which is across the Bay Bridge from where they live. So, you know, that's another reason why I wanted to go because I remember they had the view of the Bay from their backyard. So it, it brings me back a lot of memories, like I said. So I think that's the reason why I didn't have any anxiety because I was focused on all the good memories and nothing bad, no negativity or anything. So this is just a hyperlapse. Um, this is us heading back home. Um, there's a lot more traffic as you can tell when we were heading home. It took us a little bit over an hour. Um, we stayed at my aunt's house for for about an hour or maybe a little bit longer. Um, but it didn't feel like we were there that long. When I was going home, like I mentioned, there's a lot of traffic. Um, but I felt perfectly fine. I didn't feel I didn't feel trapped in between cars or anything like that. I wasn't in a hurry to go home. You know, but my dad wanted to go home because if we left even later, the traffic would have been would have been worse. But you know, I'm happy that I went and I felt fine and nothing happened. 